My name is Asus Kandami Muhammad. My name is Muhammad Fidus Najmi bin Bohanuddin. Assalamualaikum and hi, I Izzatul. My name is Nurul Asikin binti Ahmad Dastain. My name is Muhammad Ani Arfa bin Muhammad Syahril. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Luqman Al-Hakim. In this presentation, we're talking about uh, Canada's most magnificent luxurious rail service, which is the Rocky Mountaineer. So basically, these are the flows of the presentation. Uh, firstly, is the introduction of the history of luxury train. And secondly, the history of the Rocky Mountaineer train. And then the facilities provided in the train, activities you can do on the train, activities you can do off board the Rocky Mountaineer train, the accommodations. And finally, my friend is going to explain about uh, the journeys and routes of the uh, Rocky Mountaineer train, including its itinerary. So, without further ado, let's all aboard. Canada is a country located in the northern part of North America, covering 9.98 million square kilometers. Although being the second largest country in the world after Russia, the country itself only has 10 provinces and 3 territories. And we can all agree that the country itself is gifted with such beauty and diverse geographical features such as uh, including the landscapes of rocky coastlines, forests, mountains, inland, inland deserts, grassy plains and snowy mountains. And these geographical features are the reason for travelers all around the world to flock these destinations, making these three provinces, which is Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, and Alberta, the center of rail routes of one of the most unique rail service in the world, the Rocky Montania. <music> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ani Arfa bin Muhammad Syahril I will explain about introduction and history of luxury train okay, First, many people believe luxury train travel in Britain, Europe and the United States was the product of the 20th century's interwar years True, some of the most illustrious luxury trains are firmly entrenched in this period but the history really unfolds much earlier to the end of Victoria's range when the old world was beginning to attract thousands of international visitors from the new world presenting a stage where the luxury railway travel was now clearly on show. Second, the luxury train are known to offer a very comfortable ride. Some luxury train take passengers on a leisurely long journey. But before the invention of sleeping and dining cars, long distance train travel was never a favorite. It is not comfortable at all. Until 1865, George Pullman invented the pioneer, the first sleeping car, and was followed two years later by hotel cars. The pioneer is considered the first luxury train included with dining and sleeping areas. Since then, there are countless amount of luxury trains around the world 
because most travelers will seek comfortable experience while taking a long journey. So the main point of history about luxury train first is before the invention of sleeping and dining cars, long distance train travel was an uncomfortable experience. And the second point is until 1865, Judge Pullman invented the Pioneer, the first sleeping car, and two years later followed by hotel cars. And for the another point is Pioneer is considered the first luxury train, included with dining and sleeping areas. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fidas Nazmi bin Bohanuddin. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the history of Rocky Mountaineer. In Canada, the Rocky Mountaineer luxury train only began in 1990, but rapidly celebrate from celebrate from people around the world to experience the journey themselves. What the service has to offer. It was named one of Ten uh, best rail experience in the world by the International Railway Traveler magazine. Uh, next is uh, Rocky Mountain become one of the traveler choice if they visit Canada. By 2008, the service has already reached one million guests cumulatively. Uh, next, interestingly, the train also offer multiple package. Uh, it has three different routes for passengers and travelers to appreciate the variety of climate and nature of this destination. The Rocky Mountaineer has three set of road package plus it itinerary for travelers for to choose from. Uh, the reason is that uh, the rail service does not only offer on board experience but outdoor experience as well so uh, can, uh, we will continue with my friends uh, thank you Assalamualaikum and hi I Izatul and I will explain to you about what is the facilities that are provided in a Rocky Mountaineer luxury train so let's start the Rocky Mountaineer Luxury Train is a train that does not have a sleeper car. This train operated only in the daylight and it tours through the Canadian Rockies that are scheduled for the guests to see all of the scenery. After a day on board the train, the guests will overnight in a comfortable accommodation that are provided for them in Kamloops, Quisnil or Riesler and in a British Columbia. So from the slide above, we can see there are different between two types of package. One is silver leaf package and the second one is gold leaf package. Let's start from the panoramic view and sitting. For the passengers in a silver leaf package, the coach's custom designed single level glass dome offers the passengers a completely panoramic view of their work. For oversized glass dome windows, the style gives them a clean, crisp view and a snap for photography. So, by reclining their chairs or take a bit closer in the outdoor viewing area, all passengers can uh, face the views while in the comfort of their seats. On the other hand, the passengers from the gold leaf package will get a massive view of a space that can be seen through the windows of B-level glass dome coaches. This room size is convenient for them to spread their legs while enjoying the panoramic view from the upper level seats. Additionally, the other way they can enjoy the view is through the special platform of uh, outdoor viewing. They just need to walk into the outdoor viewing platform near the coaching center. The second point is about the dining room. For the dining room, passengers can enjoy the garment meals served in the comfort of their seats, including snacks. The seats are already equipped with four big tables that are convenient for the passengers. For meals, 
They will provide the delicious Western Canada inspired cuisine for breakfast and fresh Fraser Valley chicken, brisk and Alberta beef short ribs for the lunch menu. The sandwiches are also served to their preference alongside a selection of alcoholic and non alcoholic beverages. The sandwiches also could dine in a dining room that are located at the lower floor, which is provided for the luxury package or gold leaf package. The dedicated dining room on the lower level allows the passengers to dine more comfortably. Passengers will have the luxury to enjoy the gourmet meals prepared by the executive chef themselves. Even though the dining room is located at the lower floor, the massive windows which were installed alongside the seats um, would give access to the passengers to enjoy the view outside. For breakfast, the menu begins with chef seasonal fruit creation and a freshly baked treat. While for the lunch, the menu begins with chef's daily soup or a fresh seasonal salad. Additionally, the three course gourmet lunch features crisp white linens, um, gleaming silverware, and a mock grocery menu with locally sourced ingredients. Meals, beverages, and snacks. On the train, passengers will be served according to the service coach they had chosen. If they choose gold leaf service or B level, the meal will be served on the lower level dining area. If they choose the silver leaf service or single level, then they will be served at Yasi. For scenery, the highlight activity that passengers can do on board is of course sightseeing, the jaw dropping, and photo worthy scenery. Passengers are not going to miss even a minute to capture the scenery of Western Canada, Canada, Denmark, or the beautiful Pyramid Falls since this train only travel during daylight hours. Passengers with gold leaf service get to access outdoor viewing in a section of the coach to catch some breeze and without the glass experience. Last but not least is service and storytelling. While passengers enjoy the surrounding scenery behind the large windows, the host will share the history and folklore as the train passes through the area, all to enhance the trip experience. And that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuhul Asikin binti Ahmad Sastari. In this slide, I would like to talk about activities of board in the Rocky Mountain Trains. First activity that you can do is wildlife tower in Banff National Parks. By walking in the town site and on some popular trails, can reveal scary ball, deer, eggs, big horn, sheep, and even bears. There are uh, have more than 50 species of mammals calling bumps and the surrounding Rocky Mountains home. You are bound to catch sight of at least one of the local along your trips. Second is ride gondolas. Bounce gondola is the first attraction in the towns with the glass ink sleep offer the ultimate view of the dynamic landscape of the Rockies as it ascends up sulfur mountains along the mass. While you ride gondola, you will get X minute standing sightseeing chairlift to the standing viewing deck at 2385 meter and gaze at the beauty fee for you. For the next activity that you can do is hiking. You can hike in Johnston Canyon, an easy hiking trail where you can see the view well from the falls or downhill depending on the distance you want to travel. You will be amazed by the beauty of the mountainous area. Climbing the tunnel mountain will offer an incredible shift to low peaks where it offers a stunning view of the city, Bomb Valley and Mount Randall along the way. Next activity is panoramic helicopter towers. Travelers able to see the Canadian Rockies from above some of the most spectacular sites of Bounce National Parks. A panoramic helicopter tower can last for up to 55 minutes per ride. Next activity is skiing or snowboard. 
when you stop in Vancouver, you may try skiing or snowboard. In winter, in the North Shore Mountains, there will be a beautiful snowy sky. Because Vancouver is one of those places where there is no during curtain season. The place has become an area for families. At the Simmer and Gross Mountain in North Vancouver, offer up challenging runs and fun family. And sippers in West Vancouver, the world class skier, hop aboard a shuttle and head to Blackcomb for one of the best alpine experience in the world. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Yusuf Kenyamin Muhammad and I will present. I will continue my friend's presentation and I will present about the topic accommodation. First of all, the Rocky Mountain train only operates in daytime. Rocky Mountain train does not include sleeper car or bags. This is because the train is only operate in day daytime. However, the Rocky Mountain offer an impressive midpoint hotel for all passengers at each destination of the train. The hotel provided by the Rocky Mountaineer comes along with the package itself. The Rocky Mountaineer <coughs> comes with the two levels. First level is silver leaf service level and gold leaf service level. First of all, <coughs> the hotel that provided by the silver leaf service level is JW Marriott Vancouver located in the heart of Vancouver Entertainment District. The second is Fairman Churchill Lake Louis, located between Snow Cap Mountain and Shimmering Lake Louis. And the third is ELK Plus Avenue Hotel, minimalist design from Classic Mountain Getaway. The second level is Gold Service Level. Uh, the first hotel is Rimrock Resort Hotel, located near Banff, Gondola and Banff Up Hot Spring. The second is Fairman Pleasure, Pleasure for the newly re renovated luxury suites and relaxing spa service. The third is Fairman Jasper Park Snows, wooden chalet on the shore of Lake Viewer. <coughs> Let me continue the presentation to the journey and routes of the train. Firstly, uh, I think the the presenter uh, Luqman showed the map of the journey and roads of the train. So, Rocky Mountaineer offered three district called route along the journey. First passage, <coughs> first passage to the west, second journey through the cloud, and second rainforest to Gorash. There are three rail routes uh, from the Rocky Mountaineer. First is first passage to the west to the two day rail route connected Vancouver, Camp Loop, Lake Rice and Bow. Train day 2 Vancouver to Kamloops and train day 2 to Kamloops to Lake Lewis and to the Bath. Uh, second is journey to the car. To the railroad connected Vancouver, Kamloops and Jasper. Train day 1 Vancouver to Kamloops and train day 2 to Kamloops to Jasper. And the last and uh, uh, lastly, uh, rainforest to Gorash. Three day railroad connecting Vancouver, Whistler, Questna and Jasper. Train day 1 Vancouver to Whistler. Train day 2 Whistler to Krishna and train day 3 Krishna to Jasper. Itinerary of first passage to the West Highlight. First passage to the West, uh, West Highlight for pricing and additional package option for this road. Visit the travel planning guide on page 68. The journey 7 days, hotel night 6, six nights. Train day, 2 day, and meals included 2 breakfast and 2 lunch. Trip highlight, Vancouver lookout. Your choice of activity in Vancouver, Yuhu National Park to Lake Louis, Lake Louis to Bath, Bath to Gregory Tour, including Bath Gondola, Panoramic Helicopter Tour, Gary Tower, and National Park. So I continue my presentation to itinerary of first species to the West Highland. Uh, for the first level, uh, there is uh, silver leaf is 3748 silver, silver leaf and 5019 for the gold leaf. The world has witnessed a great transformation in rail industry since the first luxury train in 1865. Canada's Rocky Mountaineer enhanced the experience on board for long journeys such as the dining and comfortable seating. But one thing that makes 
the Rocky Mountain Air is unique from its competitors is the railway. The railway travels in great distance, passing through breathtaking terrain such as the Rocky Mountains, lakes, wildlife habitat, snowy mountains, rainforests, and much more. The passengers get to see many shifts in landscapes in one board. If that is not enough, the Rocky Mountaineer offers itineraries that include uh, in accommodations and outdoor activities. In conclusion, the development of the rail industry plays an important role in the tourism industry. Travelers seek comfort and leisure for their long journey, creating opportunities for the rail services. For instance, uh, according to the data from the Rocky Montania, the company's operations generated over $200 million in 2015 in GDP, the gross domestic product, in contributions in British Columbia and Alberta. So with that being said, we can all agree that the real industry was and will always be the important player of the tourism industry.